Yeah, that's true. Backseat gaming does tend to happen in chat. Alright, so we got one land into Curse Catcher. I don't feel like we can keep that. One land with a vial we can keep. Alright. Um. Yeah, that's okay. That vial on two is going to be sitting pretty. Ah, and here's elves that we were talking about just a minute ago. Very challenging matchup. It basically comes down to a coin flip, kind of like a mirror match. Elves can get out of control really, really fast. You have a wind swift teeth? Really? Alright, we would like to draw land. But it wouldn't be the... Well, it might be the end of the roll if we draw and draw one. Alright. No, 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 no! Dang it! I wanted to play Silvergill Adept. Ugh. And there's summoning sickness, so I can't even attack with it. Alright, this is my instep pen. Yeah, that was a punt. That was a misclick. Mostly, but it was a punt. It was a bad misclick. Like, really bad. Rex Sage, destroy Aether Vial. That is so bad. Oh, man. I didn't mean to activate, it was a mistake. Oh my goodness. I meant to... Okay, so I tapped the island for mana first, and then I tapped the Mutavault, but instead of tapping the Mutavault, I hit Animate Mutavault, and then it was too late, because I had already paid the mana, so it was like, oh, it's already been paid, and it used the mana, and I couldn't undo or anything like that. Like, in paper, that's not a mistake you would make. Right. I, that's not something that I would have accidentally done in paper. So it's frustrating. All right. What do I ever feel? Silver Gill. Probably should not. Okay, see. Mana. Thank you. All right. This is tap three untapped elves you control to add three to your mana pool, and they can have summoning sickness to do that. <sighs> He's not going to trade with me, so I could attack with the curse catcher, or I could be threatening a trade with him or her with geyser. I'm still threatening a trade with that silver gill. <laughs> oh, Nykthos. I like that card a lot when it's not being played against me in an elf deck. <laughs> Old Llanowar Elves. See, I'm used to seeing that with, like, white spots around the edges or, like, a slight browning on the edges. <laughs> So I tapped three elves for Heritage Druid. Your opponent loses life equals the number of elves you control, so five. Nice. Oh, 
Hey. That's a lot of damage. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I have to leave blockers up. I can have four blockers if I play Curse Catcher and hold me to vault back. It's probably what I need to do. I don't know if our misclick made a big difference or not because they've gotten a pretty good draw. That is true, Don Luca. I would not like to spill my drinks onto my computer. Okay. Do you have a trick up your sleeve? Probably. Alright, we'll go to blocks. Block this one. If we double block here, then we take six damage. Hi there, Chaos! What did you make? I don't think there's anything we can do now. We'll block the four, we'll take six damage. Which we're mute vault, so now I'm gonna block two things. That's a, what is that naturally? A, a three, two? Because we can phantasmal image it, they'd lose one life. <laughs> well, I'm glad you made it. What do you mean by less sexism on paper? Turn one chalice. All right, our shamans are gonna trade. Oh. Why is he ch letting me trade with all of his creatures? I don't understand why that's okay. So, Master of Wave, we could then block two things. Or I could play Muta Vault and block two things with Muta Vault. Grimwatch, thank you for following me. Either way, I get two bodies. It hurts less to lose one Master Waves than two Muta Vaults. Nope. Okay. I would have to block with the Lord also. So I would lose the Lord and the Muta Vault. Here I would rather lose one card than two. Izuri! And 
he has the mana for it, so. The old Nykthos tons of mana trick. I love it when it's not being quite to me. Elec74, thank you for following. Yep, and trample, so. I just typed, nice, love Nykthos to my opponent here. All right, elves, a lot of them on one. <sighs> I think we need Dismember. Tidebinder Mage is good. Snag's good. Pierce is not, they're not really playing anything on us. Here we're gonna be on the play. I think Master Waves is too slow. And Vile is slow. Vile is too slow for this deck. Yeah, this has not been a great night for our magic playing. <laughs> We're one and one, I guess, right now. No, we played two man first and got our butts kicked to then, too, I think. So we're. I don't know. Thank you, Chaos! I freaking love my little bunny that runs around and it's adorable. Hi there, Grimwatch. Thank you. Um, I could bring in Tech Edge for Nykthos, but they can totally win without four lands on the board. Well, welcome back to the States. I think... I think that's our plan. Tech Edge is too likely a dead card. And we could bring it in instead of Vile. Odious Rex, thank you for following. Maybe Tech Edge instead of Vile, just so we have the mana. The Vile is really slow. Alright, we'll bring in Tech Edge, and then maybe, bonus, we'll get to kill a Nykthos. I'm not sure if it works or not, but feel free to try, I guess. All right, four lands, Curse Catcher, Silver Kill, Regery. I think we keep this. Now, if we take out the Aether Vials, we need to bring in lands generally, which is part of why the tech edges are there. Alright, good to know, Speaker Ender. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a pretty good hand. It follows right on curve. Ooh, and now a tech edge. So we can play that fourth. I think we mute a vault here. We're going to tap it for mana. We're not going to screw that up this time. <laughs> He won't trade. Yes, we're playing against Elf, which is a very, very challenging matchup. They're just faster than we are. In an aggro way, so there's just... It's hard. You have to get lucky, they have to get unlucky. And we have to play with no mistakes, unlike what we did last time. See all these one drops? Chalice on one. Chalice on one. I think the new commander decks look sweet. Especially the black white one. If you control another elf, put an elf warrior on the battlefield. Doing that for Heritage Druid. Now he's got four mana. For a collected company? Ugh! And this is how the elf deck do. <laughs> I 
Elves is good. I thought about playing Elves when I was starting to get into Modern. And it didn't quite have enough because, like, Dwynen's Elite's really good. And Collected Company wasn't out yet. No, Collected Company was. It was Coco Elves. But it just wasn't quite there, and it's gotten better. It's, it's quite good. <sighs> what on earth do I do about this wall of elves? Um, I guess we could have sacked Hearse Catcher on that collected company. How do we get around this? Alright, so we could just member, maybe the Heritage Druid, kind of so he doesn't get as much mana. We could just member and play Lord of Atlantis, have bigger guys to block with. Yeah, at least they only hit one creature. He has the... He doesn't have Heritage Druid. There's no lore. Yeah, we would hit... Or, yeah, we would hit the Heritage Druid. There's no... Um, whatever other guy. Alright, so... Island... Colorless, Dismember, for Life. Heritage Druid... <laughs> Top deck pyroclasm. Tempting, kind of. <laughs> Wish I could. I don't play Whelming Wave. It's generally not worth it. This is like the one matchup where it might be. Hmm, another Heritage Druid. Ah. <laughs> uh. Alright, I mean, this is just the silliness that is elves. When it goes off, it goes off. And this is how it goes off. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I can't win this turn, but you can win next turn. I mean, he can get six mana, give somebody plus three, I think, plus three, plus three, and trample. Get to Dwynan's Elite. Ugh. And then regenerate it. So there's no point in blocking it because we can't kill it anyway. We can take five. I mean. <laughs> oh, bother. Tyson L Gaming, thank you for following me. Even though I'm getting my ass whooped. <laughs> no attacks. Ooh, your parents are bringing your dog over. That's awesome. I bet your dog misses you. Ooh. Turn two or three Emrakul? That is absolutely ridiculous. <sighs> I mean, if he doesn't kill me, 
and we draw spreading seas, we can win. But he's going to kill me anyway, because now he's got trample. All right. So I could, would take two, one, and two if I blocked, but then I'd lose my guys. But this is 14, so I have to block something. I could double block a 5 with Curse Catcher Silvergill. Then I'd take 9. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Nope. He'll probably regenerate. But if he regenerates, he takes him out of combat, right? Or is it after damage is dealt? I think it's after damage, never mind. Ugh. We needed... Well, I guess we can swing with everybody in and through. Tech edge can't even be used. All right, so we can hit four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. We hit for 13. Not enough. We needed a Lord. Since all these guys are tapped, if we had gotten a Lord, we could have gotten it. Hopefully I did my math wrong and it's actually 15. Nope. All right. I just hit F6. We're just going to let them actually, or let them actually win. Oh, is that another target elf? Is Zuri regenerate another target elf? Awesome. So, elves, really bad matchup. Almost as bad as Affinity. And they play, in some ways, similar to Affinity, and those ways are all the ways that are bad for us. I did beat elves 